Brown got its hustlers. The Bowery got its bumps. Forty Second Street got Big Jim a Walker here, bull shooting son of a gun. No, I am not giving myself a haircut. <laughs> I'm giving my hairy microphone a haircut, but after I'm done with it, it's not going to be hairy anymore. So the, the choice is between wind control or noise control and being able to see in the lens. I don't know which one is more important to you. <laughs> so Jerry, I, I wanted to ask you this question. I don't know if it'll, you can hear it. So this is one of those real questions, but looking back over your life, okay, what would you say that you loved the most about your life? I mean, what made you really happy over the course of your life? Getting a little piece of land to own and be able to do what I want to do with it. So the work in the land? And work in the land. That was if you look back over everything you've done? That would be my best thing I ever did. This 160 acres I bought first. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing I ever owned. The one life. with the wheat field on it? Yeah. And it goes a mile that way and a quarter of a mile across this way. And I bought that, and I was the happiest I ever was when I got that paid for. And I paid for it the first year. I planted it in beans and how, had a good crop. How old were you then? I was a freshman in college. There's Freedom. He just sits over there and hopes for the best. Well, there's baby Goliath. We're not changing his dressing today because the guy is too busy. And it looked really good yesterday, so I'm hoping we're finally making some progress for him gets today off. So do I. Can you see that? He is completely covered in dirt. That's supposed to be a black dog and now he's light brown. Ugh. And he brings all that crap inside. Freedom, look at you. You're completely covered in dirt. Can you see that? That's another one of those fake snakes um, on the ground there. And um, we are now rapidly approaching. We are rapidly approaching snake season. So this is going to be even harder to carry a camera. And also, you have to watch your feet at all times the bad thing about living in the middle of nowhere. This area right here, snake frickin' central. I caught two of them having sex out here last year. I didn't have the heart to kill them. <laughs> so one of my tasks, and you see the water behind me, one of the things I have to do every day is check and make sure they have water and these are goofed up because I guess the f overflow valve was clogged. I don't know how long, bad me. So uh, the big tank got a little nasty. So I'm trying to get it cleaned out. So we're almost at the end of the day where I stopped doing any kind of video recording. <sighs> that was my laundry basket that I had precariously stuck on top of some stuff and apparently it just fell down. That's what that noise was. Ugh. All right. So as I was saying, it will wait, right? It's the litter box. So unless Lilith has to go back there and use it, we should be okay. So as I was saying, <laughs> this is the end of my day. Okay. So how many things can fall down when one is trying to record? So this is the end of my day when I do the recording and it's been such a beautiful, incredibly perfect day. I haven't wanted to do anything. I got a little bit held up waiting for somebody, but it's just stunning outside. And I know it's not going to last, so I really wanted to soak it in and appreciate it and just be there. That's what's really hard. I don't know how to share that part with you because it's so boring, but that's what makes me happy. That's what makes me feel connected to life. Um, so this is the vlog for the day. It's going to be seeing this on Saturday. So today is my Friday. My Saturdays are kind of busy, so who knows what I'll get put together for tomorrow. But thanks for joining me here at the Survival Road. I hope you have a really good weekend. And we'll be back with new material on Monday. <laughs>
That is not supposed to be there. Don't tug on Superman's cape. You don't spit into the wind. You don't pull a mask off that old Lone Ranger. And you don't mess around with Jim. I don't do that. So the reason that my hood is up is I found another rabbit hanging out this morning underneath my hood. Another fabulous uh, thing that happens living out here in the middle of nowhere. <laughs>